what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto your onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix crashing or freezing in call of the lamp this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial so stick to the end guys and after the video you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this issue but before we start right into the video i'm gonna just need you to know or uh want you to know guys that i would really really appreciate it that if you would leave a like a comment or a subscription it would really make my day and support me as a little youtuber as i am and uh yeah subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me so uh, just hit the subscribe button before we start right into the video i'm gonna thank you for that right now and i would just say let's get right started um but before we start guys i'm just gonna ask you for pardon i'm currently ill so my voice is gonna crack or i'm gonna sound a little bit weird i'm sorry for that i hope it doesn't bother you too much and I'm just doing my best in order to help you so and let's get right started so the first step is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar where you're gonna right click it and open up your task manager once your task manager pops up I want you to close every single application and background process which is currently running simply because of uh, two reasons once uh, it could also for so the first reason is that your PC is too low end and too many programs at the same times could cause crashing or freezing and the other reason is that was it for me last time that some uh, applications some background processes are gonna third party your game uh, causing it to crash or to freeze in some way especially programs like vast antivirus uh, causing crashes in uh, many many games so just go to every single background process or process and right click it and end the task and the same is for startup right here you're going to disable every single program you don't really need running any background once you did that you can close the task manager the next step is going to be to search an empty spot right into your desktop you're going to right click and go to display settings once you hit display settings you're going to stick to display and identify as the first step which your main monitor is this also uh, just suits if you have more than one monitor once you identified your monitor you're going to scroll down right to scale and layout where you're going to go to change the size of attack steps and other items we're going to just um, select 100 percent as recommended the next step is going to be to go to display resolution and uh, apply your in-game display resolution so basically if you're in-game having a resolution like 1720 by 1070 you're going to apply it also to your display resolution once you did that you can close this one down and the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen opening up your settings once your settings pops up, pop up, you need to go to update and security and stick right to Windows Update where I want you to check for updates. So basically download the latest version of Windows in order to provide the best possible performance for your PC and decreasing the amount of crashes and freezing. Once you did that, you're going to close this one down and do the same thing for your graphics card. So download the latest version of your NVIDIA or AMD graphics card in order to provide the best possible performance and decrease the, per uh, the percentage of uh, crashing or freezing yeah guys that's it for the video i hope i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm really sorry if i couldn't help you with that but for me it fixed my problem so i'm just trying to do my best for you and i hope you have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye